This video will show you how to install a secondary hard drive into a Dell XPS L502X model laptop. You start off with purchasing one of these um, drive bay adapters called Drive Caddies. They're called a lot of stuff. But you can find them on Amazon, you can find them on eBay, and all over the various websites. I'll provide an exact link to this one. Now, we start off with the drive and placing it in at an angle like this and applying pressure until the drive gets down there pretty firmly. Now it's safe to bring the drive down so that it sits flat. Now this came with this thing called a there's a particular word, lower the, uh, the adapter retaining latch. This doesn't work very good. It's possible that this is just an extraordinarily cheap drive caddy, but it's supposed to go down and the part with the lip is supposed to sit over the top of the drive and this is supposed to snap in. And that's how the drive gets held in. Uh, you gotta kinda like force these latches out to hold it in, stuff like that. <coughs> in general, it's a situation that I would rather just employ something that I know works, absolutely. Alright, so I'm going to tape my latch down, like so. any excess tape. All right, it's a little bit loose, but that's not, it's not too shabby. I'm not very happy about how these do not screw into the side. That's kind of, it's kind of shady at best. But I think that should hold. Now, we take our laptop, and we flip it over. The first step is always remove the battery. Whenever you're working inside your laptop, remove the battery. It prevents accidental power ons and everything else. It's just like unplugging a cord from a normal computer when you work on it. Now, maybe this is an old boogeyman myth, but I always like to try to power it on with the power off. It's my understanding that you discharge the capacitors or any other ambient current inside of there. Now, we gotta remove this sort of like component access latch. There's one, two, three screws. Now, there's just one screw that holds in the optical drive. It's right here. There's an O and an arrow pointing to it. Once that's unscrewed, you can just stick your thumb underneath the bezel and pull it out. Now I know someone else commented in another video of mine that's not pronounced bezel. Don't worry. Now, this back piece here, where that screw went into, is attached by two screws. We have to move that over to the back of our hard drive caddy now. Now, with this facing towards the left, this would go up and face up.
Now we want to remove the front cover from the optical drive so we can get it onto this just to kind of give our computer back that nice flush finish. And I'm having some success by going underneath this part here and beginning to pry backwards like this and out. Oop. That last snap sounded bad, but it doesn't look like I actually broke anything. Good news. Now, let's... Well, first let's cut back some of this duct tape so I can actually get to this. Now let's remove the plastic zell off the front of this, or plastic, whatever you want to call it. There's this tab under here. Let's try to free it up. Always be careful when you're working with this sort of plastic stuff. It's so easy because often you do need to put a lot of pressure on it to do it properly. And it's very easy to put that pressure into the wrong spot and suddenly you snap something and you're regretting every life regretting life. So this would go back in there like this. So that means this would go back on here like this. And I'll be amazed if this actually just snaps in. I highly doubt that though. Wow. I I believe I said I would be amazed, and I am highly amazed. Now we still have this screw in here, and we can't get that back in there until the screw comes out. Stick your hand there, turn it over, slide this drive in. Ugh, like a glove. Like a poorly fit glove. Screw this back in. Now we should be good to go. However, we now have a computer without an optical drive.